Good morning, everyone. If you're watching, just give me a few minutes just to get situated here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, if you're watching, just give me a few minutes. I'm getting situated on my end. Mm. Oh, 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 okay. Of course, News 12 is live now at the same time. <laughs> Oh no, Erin. Erin <gasps> just texted me, hey, I'm at the store. And I'm like, no, we were doing it online. Oh, goodness. Oh, Erin, I love you so much. <laughs> oh, God. I feel so bad because Erin's at the store. All right. Let's do... Let me just get to here. Mm -mm -mm. Getting situated. Can I see the comments? Okay, so I can see that. And you guys let me know if you can hear me. So X that out. All right. So those of you who are just watching, I am just situating my side because I have a bunch of things in front of me and I want to have a clear space, nice and organized, even though I'm not on a normal, typical basis. hear myself through the headphones. No, I don't want to do that. Oh God, why is this happening? It's like repeating. No, don't repeat. Okay. Don't repeat. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, I can hear myself. That would be better. Oh, good morning, everyone. So let's go to my little list. And we're just going to start. Um, I wish everyone is being healthy and safe at this time and staying home. The quarantine has made us all go a little nuts. And during the past two weeks, um, our last day of work was uh, March 21st. We had to close by like 8 p.m. And hi, Erin. <laughs> I know I didn't want you to go to the store, Erin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our last day of work was the March 21st and um, that was very it's still a little difficult for everyone so we're trying the best that we can to help everyone with questions and hello rich so if you guys have anything that you want to ask dumb stupid it doesn't matter uh, comment below and then Michelle, Michelle and I are both here. Erin's here if we can answer any questions. Um, and then if you need any products, uh, you can visit my website. And a lot of it, 
I do still have, I have to update it this afternoon and we can do payment and then you can pick it up at my store and we'll figure that out. Just message me and we'll just go from there. So let's start out. Uh, we got tips and tricks. Yeah. So if you don't want to watch the full thing of this at the end, uh, I'm going to go through it again and I'm going to put timestamps of everything that we're talking about. And okay. So I've gotten a lot of questions about, Hey, can you please come to my house if you're closed at the store? And what's the difference between uh, you guys being a groomer and a supply store. So a supply store is allowed to do dog food, cat food, uh, any type of supplies where a groomer has to do social interaction and of course they're not gonna let us do it. And because we are, we have some supplies but we don't do food. Um, so yes, we are not allowed to produce business. I've had a lot of people say, hey, can you come to my house, mobile? Right now, my mobile is at my in-laws getting updated, fixed, etc., and uh, that's going to be off the road for probably a month because we're all probably going to st be stuck here. I don't have a date. I don't have a time because everyone still wants to say, let's keep pushing this into April and May. I really don't know, but we're all here to help. If you want to message us, if you want to call us, please do so, and... We're gonna do the best that we can, brushing, nail trims, any type of things that you want to have or have a question about. So the, oh God, I've had a lot of bribes. Oh God, can can uh, can you come to my house? I'll pay you like five or $6,000. And I'm like, no, no, I can't take that risk because I can get arrested. Um, the fines are up there big time. Um, the other question that I had was, if you can't do nail trims, uh, can I bring my dog to the vet? The vet is actually just taking emergency cases only, or if you have prescriptions, you have things that you need to buy from the vet, um, they're, you know, you can ask them if they're going to do nail trims, but most likely a lot of vets are just saying no to nail trims, um, regular rabies shots and... Um, any type of boosters, um, they may or may not do. I really, you know, don't, I don't know their answers. Just give them a call. I do know that vets around here and vets around my store, they are not doing nail trims. They're not doing, uh, shots. They're just doing pickup products, prescriptions. Um, okay. So if anybody, okay, not yet. So, okay, nail, nail cutting is the number one question that we have been getting, and I'm going to hold off on that because um, I want to, I just want to get back to that. So, I want to answer if anybody, aw, Erin, just use the computer. So... Oh, it's on my phone. No, it's not. I put it on here. There we go. So, until, um, okay. So, I've gotten questions, and I will cut my questions if somebody asks a question on here. I already have questions that people have asked me on the phone. Message me. So, I took all of that, clumped it all together, and I called my vet. I called... I spoke to a vet tech, um, and right now, they say, uh, please cool your jets. Um, this, a lot of people that are complaining about nails, nine times out of ten, it's not really a big, big issue. Unless you have a pug and their, you know, nails kind of curl in, then you may have an issue, and just watch for that. Uh, let's see, my first question, okay. So I've gotten the question this week, and that was, can my dog eat tofu? Um, checking with the vet, I really wouldn't suggest doing tofu for your dog. It's not really easily digested, and they can have an allergy to it because that is soy. Uh, the next question, hi guys, if you're just joining us now, uh, we're just going through a lot of Q&As that we have uh, gotten in the past week, uh, the past two weeks. Whether that may be text message, message, 
And uh, Michelle is here to answer questions. If you guys want to comment down below of whatever question that you want to ask, we're here to help. And I've got a lot of things in front of me, so we're going to try to speed this up, but we're here for you. And even after this, if you still don't want to watch the whole thing, there's going to be timestamps at the end. So the next question is, we're having trouble with anal glands. What do we do? And then, of course, there's different variations to those questions. Uh, my dog's rubbing his butt on the floor, and what do we do for this? The best thing to do is give your dog pumpkin, and I don't mean pumpkin pie mix. I don't mean anything that you're um, making any type of pies with because it has sugars in it. It has additives in it. So what you want to do is go to the don't go to the supermarket, but if you do have pumpkin or if you're ordering stuff online, get organic pumpkin. It comes in a can, and then you can usually do like two tab a tablespoon, two tablespoons, and it really depends on their diet. You can either do it daily or um, I would start out by doing it like every two days and then go from there and see how your dog is. Uh, pumpkin has fiber and fiber is fine for dogs and, you know, Go in the poo-poo. So, and the other one was with the anal glands expressions. Um, hey, how do I do it? I don't recommend that you should, and I don't recommend that um, you try to. It's It takes a while to learn how to do that, but usually dogs do it on their own when they go to the bathroom anyway. So, my next question, hello... So the next question that I have on here, oh, the other thing was for the anal glands is what's called, um, it, I mean, you can get it from Chewy. It's called gland ease. Hi, Emma. It's called gland ease. I do not have it in front of me. I don't know the instructions. I would just check it out online and see if it's going to work for you or it's something that you want to use. So, next one is, um, is, hi Maya, is uh, Vaseline good for skin? No, don't use Vaseline. If you're going to use anything, go with like a vitamin E and you can either put that, like I put it like in between my dog's paws, but I don't recommend Vaseline. It's just going to, it's a, it's clog, it's going to clog their, um, it's just not good. Just don't do it. And then, uh, feet build up tear. Okay, so can I use other products? And what do I use for a build up when it comes to tear stains or tear crusting? Um, what can I use for that? Again, you can do a warm compress water, and you know you can leave it on there for a few minutes if you want to cuddle on the couch. Put it on there for a few minutes, and then. Um, in a little bit, you can take it out with your finger, or if you have like a fine-tuned comb, um, you can brush it out. Of course, this comb is large, but you can still um, just make it damp in between the eyes and go ahead and brush. Hello, Lisa. I know we're going to get to nail trim shortly. I will. I will. I promise. So, okay. So, the other one was um, the tear crust and also the tear staining. So around here somewhere, I do have uh, wipes. There they are. Um, I do have wipes that you can use, but the only thing is with these wipes, it's not going to wipe away the tear stain. It's just going to clean it out. So this one here, oh, of course it's backwards. Uh, I forgot about that part. Um, this here is Earth Bath Ear Wipes. So this one is a hypoallergenic it says it removes tear stains i really don't trust that because tear stains are one of those natural um dyes that come out of the dog or even if the dog is eating a f uh, their food and it's got natural dyes in it just like beets if you eat beets it it's gonna create you know redness in your mouth same thing with any type of um oh god what's what's um like kool-aid put Kool-Aid in your mouth. Of course, it's going to stain it. So what it does is it goes through their pores and it goes in their eyes. And then a lot of people see that they're chewing their paws and it's all red. And then they see their butt and then they see, you know, portions of their body that are red. And that's because the tear staining, the natural dyes are coming out of the body 
and the dog is chewing those sections. So that's why you're gonna see some of that redness in there. So you could do some vitamin E oil. Um, the other thing was, uh, what, did, what did she say? I have the wrong paper in front of me, but we're just gonna go with it. It was an E, um, yeah, you can, I don't, I don't remember what it is and I'm not searching for the paper now. So if you guys are just joining us, we're going through a lot of questions that I have gotten during the last two weeks. Um, we're in quarantine. We've been closed since the 21st. If you have a question, comment below. Michelle is here. Erin is here. If we, if we have any questions, I'll do my best, but I'm going to be on this side to answer questions that I've gotten through the phone, through messages. And also, if you want products, you can visit my website. The link is in the description. And then if you want to pick something up at my store, let me know. And then you can order it. Let me know what you want. And then I can, um, we can do a pickup there. So the next one that I have from bada, 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 shampoo. Hello, dry skin here. What do we do for shampoo or and or other products? So I would say hypoallergenic. Go safe, then sorry, hypoallergenic. I did ask uh, the vet about... Um, baby shampoo. That was the other question that we had last week on our live view is, hey, can we do a uh, baby shampoo? I'm not saying that you can't. I'm just saying as a groomer, I don't recommend it. It's, it's made for human, not dogs. But if you want to DIY it and go from there, you can. Um, but I would say hypoallergenic. And if you do have dry skin too, you can put uh, fish oils in your dog's food uh just don't use too much because then you'll end up smelling it later and you can also do well fish oil is omega-3 and then you can also do vitamin e dave can you please turn off your alarm thank you thank you <laughs> so yes you can do vitamin e in their food i don't know the ingredients the consistency the um the amount of vitamin e i know it's just like one of those tablets. Um, also, we're gonna get to itching in just a second. Um, so yes, you wanna do hypoallergenic, but um, if you do have it, please don't like smear vitamin E on their skin because it's gonna be a little oily unless they have like um, either, either a scratch or a scar or they have raw skin or they're chewing themselves, then you can take a little bit of vitamin E and you can put it on that wound. If they lick off the wound, it's just a natural vitamin that they're licking off. But, you know, just watch them and try not to have them lick uh, their paws, their back end at that time if they have a raw spot. So the, um, what did we say that we're gonna do itching? I think it was itching. Okay. So itching, I didn't bring the bottle, I just brought the pill. So this is, of course, Benadryl. You can do one milligram per pound if you see that your dog is itching, your dog has allergies. Um, if you have any questions about dosage, please ask your vet, but it's usually one milligram per pound. And ear cleaning ear cleaning ear cleaning yay did i find the paper that i was looking for before yes <laughs> all right ear cleaning okay so i do have ear wipes that are here i just want you to see the container that i have you can use ear wipes you can go on chewy.com um i i think i do have um ear cleaner on my website and it's either through amazon or i don't think we have any more ear cleaner at the store i really don't so i do have ear wipes uh these are just in a, uh, these are just wipes these are not going to do anything for allergies irritation etc so there's also what they call zymox zymox is awesome if Excuse me, if you have any um, infections that are starting, of course, always check with your vet before you start doing anything. And um, I did, I just had, and Michelle, I love you for this idea. 
So, of course, I didn't go out and buy this. I've had it at home. So, I, and I also have it at my store. So, if you're looking for a natural hand sanitizer and you can't find anything uh, at the store, we have just been, you know, putting in a separate, this is just aloe. This is just aloe for, like, sunburns. So, we did a separate container. We put some aloe in it and also some isopropyl. And that's just one of your natural anti biotic um you just squirt and mix it in with your hands so thank you michelle for that um ear cleaning ear cleaning yes okay oh i forgot about this thing it's all right we're we're done we're we're done with that um uh brushes 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 at this time of course you can't go to the vet and get your your dog groomed so, Michelle and I absolutely love, love, love this slicker. I do have it on my website, and I think I have one more left at my store. Um, I did have two left, and then I found three, and then I sold them. So, I think there's only one left at my store. This is, I mean, you can use this for every dog if you want to. Also, you can use just a regular comb if you want to. If you have huskies, shepherds, labs, etc., with uh, shedding, uh, I would suggest to, if you want to give them a bath and blow dry them, it's going to take you a while. So there's an undercoat reek that is wide on one side, if you can see that, and then skinny on the other side. And that's for more of like shepherds, huskies, that type of breed. And then you can also use a furminator. I do have all those products on my website that you can pick up and uh, just let me know which one that you want. And I can meet you at my store. And we can do that. And then there is also, this is another de-shedding ring. Of course, please don't use this too hard. So you're just going to do this with it. Um, I, I don't recommend to use this with uh, short-haired dogs because it can scratch very easily. Uh, quick bath. Okay, so I do have wipes. A lot of people are weary about giving their dog a bath. So I do have wipes and I think we have a couple at the store. I do have some um, grooming wipes that a lot of people can use at home for the time being. If you wanna give your dog a bath, that is fine. And you know, if you have any questions along the way, please let me know. So we're gonna to touch on a subject and I wanna make sure the time. So it's 9.20, we're doing really awesome on time. I'm really happy. So let's, let's touch on nails. Let's do it. I know this is a number one question for everyone is nail trimming, nail trimming, and how do I do it? And can you do it? And do vets do it? And we already went through what, if the vets are going to do it, which I think the answer is going to be no, if you try. So if you guys just have a regular nail file, emery board, uh, sandpaper at home, go on the couch, snuggle up with them and just do a little bit at a time, unless you want to go and do your own nail clippers. I have, well, I don't have any at my store, but I do have some on the website. If you want to try it, that is up to you. What I would recommend is just to snip little by little. This way, if you hit the quick, then you can, you don't want to cut too much, but if you accidentally, oh, it's right here. If you accidentally hit the quick and you don't have any quick stop, which I do right in front of me, um, then this is what's called quick stop. So I have, I think I have one or two at my store. I think, I think. So this one is a powder. Please don't breathe it in. Please don't smell it. <laughs> it's not pretty. Us groomers, we have done it accidentally. And it's so much fun to just watch everyone go, oh, oh, it burns. It burns. The other thing that you can use if you're at home and don't have that is cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, then just use flour. Flour is going to help soak up some of the blood. And what you want to do is leave them alone for a while. Um, if they want to lick it, um, I don't recommend them licking the styptic, but they can lick some flour. A lot of dogs can't have that in their diet, but that's just in case that you cut the nails a little too short, which it does happen as a groomer. Um, guilty. So I do have small ones. I rec Well, I don't have small ones, but I'm just showing you what I have in front of me. So there's small ones, there's medium ones, and I do have large ones for bigger dogs. Now, a lot of these clippers, I don't have it on my clipper because I think that they're absolutely annoying and they're useless. Every clipper uh, comes with like this little, uh, like, what do you call that? Um, 
Uh, it, it's ah! It's like this little flap, and it sits on the other side of here, and they use it to like, hey, this is where you stop cutting. It's useless. Please don't, please don't stick the nail all the way in and use that stopper. It's useless. I take them off of all of my clippers. It does not help. And that is, it, I mean, it is what it is, but sandpaper, emery board, if you want to take them for a little bit more walks. I think right now the parks are all closed because that's just the way that things are going on right now. So take your dog for walks. The concrete is really going to help grind their nails a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but quite a bit. Um, even if you want to go in a driveway or a parking lot and sit there and, you know, take their paw and rub it against the sidewalk, it will help grind their nails down. Um, the other one, a guard. Thank you, Erin. Erin was talking about what um, the little flap was called here. That's the guard. It's not a guard. <laughs> oh, I hate that guard. So, yes, um, if you have time at home and you want to try or attempt anything of nails, etc., you can give us a call. You can message us. You can, you know, um, do a, oh, let me know if the noise is too much. My garbage men are here. Um, you can, uh, we're, we, I actually have Zoom. So even if you want to do a video conference and you want to have some guidance towards clipping nails, have at it, let me know. And I will put my email there so that you can, if you want to, you can. And, uh, is there anything else that I need to touch on? Because I think we're doing awesome on time. We're at 25 minutes. And unless anybody has any more questions, uh, when this is done, I am going to go through it again. And I'm going to create timestamps for everybody so you don't have to watch the entire thing. And also with all the products that I have listed today or any products that you want to see what we suggest, then they're going to be on my website. And that's gongrooming.com slash shop. And you can either... Um, Order one, pick it up from us at the store. I'm doing a lot of sales so that everyone um, can do things at home and just try to get through this. Or if you want to order through Amazon, Amazon's taking like a week or so. And I may have some products that Amazon has, or I may have something similar that Amazon has. Uh, I think Ceresto, like the flea collars, we do sell the flea collars, by the way. I think they're selling for... Um, like fifty eight, fifty nine on Amazon or Chewy, and we have them for fifty five. So if you want to do it that way, I have, um, I have the small Ceresto, and I have the large Ceresto, and I don't know how many we have, but I want to say it's probably close to like ten or fifteen left. So have at it, um, Michelle, Aaron. Is there any other things before I? I have these little scissors in front of me and they have like, see the tips on them? See the tips on them? They're like rounded tips. I usually use them for like cutting the eye and I'm pretty sure if I don't have it on my website then I'll put it on this afternoon. But I usually use this for the eyes and I also use it for um, the hairs like underneath their paws. Hi, Patty. Oh, you're welcome. I miss Dexter. So, um, if you're going to do their eyes, if you're going to do any trims at home, and you want to call us or contact us, please feel free. We're, we're here. We're quarantined since uh, March 21st, I think. I think. So, um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. If not, I think I'm going to wrap it up because it's we're doing good on time. I just want to take a look at what I have in front of me. Oh, um, I did get the question about flea products and flea products. So there is a couple different flea products or um, different ways that you can give your dog when it comes to fleas. Now, if you see fleas on your dog, you can do Capstar. Capstar starts within 30 minutes and um, it'll start killing everything like uh, four to six hours. I think it's six hours cat and then four hours dog, but that lasts for like a good 24 hours. 
So there is um, pill, there's topicals, and then I don't sell any of this, but if you want to do prescriptions, so you have the pill, and um, there is Nexcard, Brevecto, uh, Simperia, Trevectus, and then there's another one with a C. It's like Credilio or something. That's, that, all of those you have to get from the vet. Um, the topicals are Advantage, Frontline, uh, Vectra. I'm not a big fan of Frontline. Um, I've, I've been around for, I've been grooming for a little over 10 years, and I've seen not great uh, reactions to Frontline. So I don't use Frontline. I use Soresto. I've been using Soresto for years, so it's working for me. So I would say whatever's going to work for you, go ahead and do it. So if I don't have any more questions, okay, let me see if I have any questions on my end. I have, oh, how far do I stick a Q-tip in their ear? Ah, uh, these questions I'm getting through. Okay. Okay, so please don't stick a Q-tip down the, the dog's ear. Um, if you want to clean them out you, and you don't have cotton balls, use a paper towel, and then you can just clean that out. Make sure that the alcohol is a drying type of base uh, so that there's no fluid left in the ear. No, you can't use peroxide. Uh, well, you can, but you have to be very, very careful. Just do the outside because it's it's water. So there's water in it. So you have to be very careful. Don't use witch hazel. Please don't use rubbing alcohol. Sounds sounds silly, but these are the questions that we have gotten. Um, so I guess, yeah, let me just double check. But I think, I think, I think, I think we are good. And we went through everything. But I'm going to double check. So if there's anyone that pops on. Okay, with a pumpkin. Don't start barking. And if you have dogs that bark at home like I do. I have a coffee can that has. How many pennies are in here? One. One penny and what, a rock? No, it's a penny. It's just one penny? There's four pennies in here, you liar. You only need one. Oh. So there's four in here, but you only need one. So if your dog starts barking, and I'm waiting for her to start barking because the garbage men are here, and this is the highlight of our day being in quarantine, is we have the garbage man, we have the mailman, the UPS guy, and a bag just floating down the street. Right, Leah? So I have just one or two pennies. Well, there's four in here, but you just give it a... And a lot of times, it stops. If you shake it too much, it's just annoying at that point. So, unless you guys have any questions, I think I'm good here. I like this half hour. It's just a quick pop-on. So, I think what we're going to do is, until the quarantine is done, um, I think we're still going to keep up with weekly uh, live videos because I'm getting a lot of responses for it when we're done with the live because a lot of people don't want to ask questions um, during the live and I don't blame you sometimes you're a little shy and sometimes you may have a question and you don't want other people to know your question so I have been getting messages from other people um, after the video so you are still welcome to go on my website look at shop and see if you want to have any products I can do a pickup at this store I'm not sure if I'll be there today or tomorrow I know I'm gonna pop by so I can get the mail but I'm not at the store. I'm not going to be there. And what do you guys think? Are we done? <laughs> and then, yep, just give me about, I would say give me about an hour. I'm going to do some timestamps on here. And then I need to add two products to my website, which uh, one is this one. And I know that there's one more that I have to add, and it's right over there. And I'm going to add it to my website and put it on as an Amazon link. Of course, I don't know what the shipping rates or shipping time is going to be. So for now, I love every one of you. I hope everyone is being safe at this time. Please, if you have any questions, give us a call, message us, do some video chat, anything that you want, go for it. Okay, guys, I, I wish you guys safety and health. I will talk to you next week.